buddy, Batchack JW coming to you. It doesn't get much to get me excited about a gun like this. We're looking at a Uberti El Patron 357 Magnum. Uh, single action. Let's go ahead and make sure it's um, unloaded. So you uh, open up the loading gate there, put it on half cock, and there you can see all of them are empty. All right, so pretty neat. Let's go ahead and close her up. <clears throat> What we have here, uh, this is a five and a half inch barrel, one of these. You can always usually tell where the uh, ejector rod here meets up with the, the barrel. And uh, usually what uh, John Wayne carried was the four and three quarter. All right, let's take a close look at this thing. It's really nice. There's the uh, El Patron. <laughs> I might be saying that wrong. <laughs> 357 cool little patent dates right there they uh, give you a nice look at that color case hardening job they've done some uh, checkering there on the hammer and uh, that those numbers there match up with the serial numbers to the frame so it's all together and if you notice those little uh, markings right there are the same Let's see if we can find them. There they are. They're the same right there. Got a little holster wear on the tip here from uh, it going in there. Pretty nice grips. They got some checkering on them and they're a one piece so that means they're uh, tied together in between by a block. It's, um, Fees together usually by uh, epoxy or something like that and the way to remove that is to take out these two screws right here and right there and then this back strap comes off and you can slide the piece out now let's uh, start going over some of the things that I really like about these Italian copies and one of that the things I like is it's very traditional these are um, as close as they come to owning a legitimate real Colt single action and the thing that sets these apart from a lot of other ones is the loading gate doesn't do anything other than give you access to that cylinder. It doesn't move. You have to put these on half cock. And uh, so there's one, two, three, four. There's four clicks. Uh, the the old thing that says that stands for C O L T. <laughs> so this way, you um, this one you have to go one, two, and that frees up that cylinder so you can load it. Okay, and they are numbered. You can even uh, you know go one. Six, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, they're they're numbered in there. Um, the way they uh, do the safety on this is really interesting. It's actually a really a slick design, I think. So you don't have like a uh, lever or something on the side. I think um, what's that company? Heritage Arms. They do one here on the side. It's like a latch. Some people like that. I really don't care for it. But uh, so let's take a look at some of the things that how they did it on this. Now, before we get into that. If you understand what is going on here, the firing pin is mounted on the hammer, the way they used to be. All right. So when it's down, when you bring it down, it protrudes right through that frame. You can see it there. And let me get a piece of paper and uh, use it as a back so you can see what I'm talking about. It's protruding right through there. Now, if you have that on a loaded round. You uh, and it, this gun takes a hit, and it don't take much to set that round off. All right, so generally, what you do is you load one, skip one. You only load five, and then that way, when you come back down, you're on an empty cylinder. Now you could do it a different way with these. Now you can. What you can do is push that uh, takedown rod all the way in. See, that's all the way in now. If you look right in and right down in here, you see it protruding through the frame. Now, when I bring that hammer down, that's it. It stops, and now you have nothing going through there. So you could load six if you want to, and um, you push it, and then the hammer will go forward, and you got it back into position where now you're ready to fire. So again, you could put it on that, that first uh, first notch and push it in. And now you have 
it's set on safe and then when you need to you know, just give that a push from this side and it pops that rod back out and, and there you go all right so to take it down half cock it open up that loading gate we're going to go ahead and push the rod uh, the button here to take down remove the rod and you can see how that works there's two notches so the first notch is ready to go and if you move it all the way to the uh, last notch that's the safety and that's this is the part that goes through the frame and I'll go ahead and show you how that works so from here you can just pop the cylinder out there you go and something to note about the 357 Magnum or the 38 caliber um, variant of these guns is they're going to be significantly heavier than say your 45 Colt why is that bat jack because you have a lot more metal here you have a lot more thickness in the cylinder and in the business end or the barrel giving you a look at the business end so you can see how thick that is in comparison to the 45 Colt where there's a lot less because the, the cartridge is bigger okay all right so there gives you a look at the inside how it comes apart and I'm gonna put this uh, base pin back in so you can see what it looks like there you are Ron that's in the uh, normal position you can see there through the frame now if I push the button and push it into the next notch okay it's going through there and there it is and if I lower this hammer that's it now if I push the button right here you'll see the rod you'll pay attention to the rod here and then watch right there you'll see the firing pin come through right there and the rod is now moved over to that second uh, the first notch right there all right put it on half cock let's put the cylinder back in put the base pin back in Now the key thing too with these is if you bring the hammer down um, back, generally you want to go all the way back and then back down, easier on the action. Um, we may have goofed that up here messing around with it just for demonstration purposes, but generally what you want to do is if you cock it, bring it all the way back and then down. So if you're half cocking it, loading it, you know, you put it back in, all the way back and then back down. And then here's the ejector rod and how that works is it's really nice and easy because when you put it on half cock, lines that directly up where it needs to be in. Pop, turn it, pop, turn it, pop. And it, it's right where it needs to be. Turn it, pop, turn it, pop. You hear it click into place. <laughs> anyway, all right. That's a look at it, the uh, nice El Patron. Before we close out this uh, video on this beautiful firearm that is uh, one of my favorite types of guns is the trigger if you notice uh, the trigger naturally on these uh, exact clones sets up on the left side that is a benefit to uh, people like me that are left-handed because that is an easy access to that trigger that's why you see on uh, the late great Bob Munden he's actually modify his and carve out some of the trigger guard on his guns and uh, add a little bit of extra metal on the trigger and have it set up because uh, as a righty you do have to kind of get your finger a little bit further in there it's not as uh, easily uh, accessible I guess you could say and put it uh, as for a lefty so another reason I like them <laughs> other than uh, of course the love with the Wild West and things like that and John Wayne so I'm Bat Jack JW thanks for watching thanks for uh, clicking on this video and everything and I'll catch you later in another video and we'll be seeing you on down the trail as my friend says <laughs>